Hi, I'm Andy Doyle in the Episcopal Diocese of Texas, and uh, you've joined us for a video cast on hope. And uh, these are just short little videos I put together as visions of hope uh, uh, are uh, come to me or I experience them or see them in the life of the church. And so I get asked a lot about uh, where do I find hope? And I've discovered I find hope in a lot of places, and perhaps it's, it's what uh, continues to energize me for the doing of, of Christ's work in, in this church. Uh, so I want to tell you today uh, about a church. It's a larger community, but uh, I've also experienced this in small communities. But the story I'm going to share today is a larger community. They uh, created an uh, ESL class for members of the community. And the uh, uh, ESL uh, and citizenship and other forms and, and several levels of classes. And the classes are taught by members of the wider community, but also church members uh, as they uh, provide uh, this community. Now, what's amazing about this, this uh, uh, and what makes this so hopeful for the church is that it's not simply providing um, the ESL classes for people who are uh, migrants, immigrants, uh, undocumented folks here in our community so that they can have tools to which to navigate life uh, in Texas. Uh, but this, they understood from the get-go that they were not simply offering space for an ESL program, but that their ministry was one of hosting and hospitality. And so they truly threw themselves into relationships with these individuals, seeing that the power of community uh, uh, where we do work is not simply in the action, but in the relationship. And what we've begun to see is that over time, these relationships have really blossomed between the hosts, the hospitality givers, if you will, the teachers in the ESL programs, and some of the people who have gone through this um, uh, ministry uh, uh, ha ha have uh, become members of that congregation. In other words, that as they have experienced this uh, aid, this support in their life of figuring out life in the wider community, they have themselves discovered that the Christian community that's provided also offers uh, support uh, and uh, uh, ministries and worship that they can participate in uh, and are welcomed into. And so the key here was not simply that provision of ESL, but the fact that the congregation understood that they were hosts and offering kindness and hospitality to those in our community in a new and different way. In fact, we might say that the ESL classes were simply the vessel through which hope and life and love was offered to these new members in our wider community. And that gives me a tremendous amount of hope. As you go through this week, uh, I am uh, praying that you will find a little bit of hope in your life, that maybe you'll see uh, God's hand at work in the world about you and that you might with gratitude celebrate that hope and maybe join in its work. Thanks for tuning in.